one, two. Okay, sounds fairly acoustically dead in here. Yes, it does. Here, yes, it does. Here, yes, it does. Stop echoing. And we have transcoding. Fantastic. Yes, it is. Hi all, and welcome to the stream. Yes, we're live. I'm going to do some good old social measuring. Um, <laughs> as you do. So the plan thus far was possibly going and doing... Um, Hodor could do some Hodor, or we could do a bit more with the new little enforcer. Um, but you know, it all depends, doesn't it? It depends on the will of the chat. Well, a bit anyway. I mean, possibly not entirely. But certainly a little bit, anyway. Right, okay. I think I've... Uh, mediated enough. And I want to log something else in now. Jerry83, first one. You are. In, well, after me. I'm always first. You have to remember, no matter how quickly you get to a video or stream, I'm always here before you. Um, but yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Right, okay, so we've got a little time. We've got a little time. I'm going to just... You're looking at... Let's go to the live screen. We've got some new followers as well. Uh, I am Love Killing has followed. Dr. Anders has followed. And C Street 19 has followed. Thank you for the follows. Uh, someone here called... Angry pee, pee Okay. <laughs> you are the n num number one? N NR1, anyway, okay. The Ravine. Yes, we are. Who for number? Did a tiny bit of upgrading on the tomb. Nothing massive. But I have done a little bit. I'm taking this tune all the way to the Incarnator. I do have a complete ready-to-go pattern on my mule. You can't see this screen yet. Um, there you go. So we're running along. going to park them up near the bottom of the Incarnator. But yes, we managed to get to 163 Space Quest, despite the sort of bit of a disaster in Cav, because too many people on the server turned up and he crashed and couldn't log back in to do the event. Uh, so he, he turned up again in um, Old Athen a little later uh, to sort of make up for it almost, for all the Rubicar bound people. While I'm here, I'm going to run up and take a quick look. Oh my god, could it be? It could. Well, I'll be damned. I don't need... I was going to log this tune, you see. Um, as I think I put... In one of these bags. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Um, I, I put the... Um, Mola, there's, there's four left. There's four left. 
Uh, what's the time at Corpse? Four minutes on the corpse. If anyone wants one, it's not mine. But it was here. Uh, talk to channel OCC. Uh, which incarcerator are we on? Yeah, the 215, I thought it was. <laughs> I can't believe we ran here and, like, oh, there you go. I think I traded the wrong bag to my mule as well. Pretty sure I did. Because the bag I thought I traded to my mule had um, the ice golem pattern on it. Oh, well, there you go. Maybe I did. No, I have, I have traded that one over. I think. Well, anyway, there you go. I look awfully bright down there on the on the webcam. Hold on. Is it do it does this thing where it turns on low light compensation no matter what I do. You have to go in manually and turn it off again. There you go. All, all low, gamma all one 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 one. Welcome to the stream. Yes, miraculously, he said. Um, miraculously, we um, logged in. I was going to go trade an ice golem pattern to my <laughs> keeper. Um, so I had my mule logged in. Then I logged in um, this character. To go and get them ready, you know, park them up at the incarnator. And there was already a ice golem tooth there. Five of them. So somebody's, you know, in the last 30 minutes has done the ice golem and just left five teeth on it. <laughs> it's on the stream. It is on the stream. The first thing I had logged in was my mule, and I was, like, gearing him up to trade uh, the molar. If I'd have logged the keeper first, I was just, you know, arbitrarily going to use the um, the keeper, run the keeper out here, the, the corpse that was there would have popped. It would have rotted, so we wouldn't have had it. So it's, it's my complete fluke. I logged this and thought, oh, I'll move the little tune up to the incarnator first. And there was a corpse on it. Oh, I didn't. I wanted to make um, the ring instead of the glasses, but you need two, uh, 1,250 comp lit, and I couldn't even even swap in perks and using pistols and stuff. I couldn't get there um, without faffing around with um, implants and such with higher values. Possibly uh, a tutoring device as well. Soto Mahoney is raiding with a party of four. Oh, well, thank you very much, Soto Mahoney, for the raid edge. You had a bunch of viewers on your channel. Well, that's nice. Thank you very much. Welcome, raiders, if you don't know me. Um, I am Kalos2, if you're into... <laughs> role plays over. Um, I, did, I was the role play today. Did I miss a role play? Should have said something to me. There's a role play at such and such a time. I'd have come. Yes, if you don't know who I am, I'm Kalos too. I'm the wizened, bearded old man down here. Um, and I make a lot of Anarchy Online videos. It was just you knocking around here. Well, I would have liked to have seen that, but that's pretty cool.
Oh, were you were you spying on us in tier? Seeing as you're like you know the omni spy, right? Now I have got a bag with a bunch of stuff in it. Actually, I've got several bags with a bunch of stuff. Can I get these on? I can. I can put on the inferno boots. Uh, what do you combine inferno boots with to make them? Uh, usable as a ring instead. Is it that? Just have a quick go. Yeah, I've got to have 1250 complete to, to do the ring, and I don't have or can get too easily uh, 1250, so. Okay. Newtar, hi, welcome to the stream. Did you did you come did you come over with uh, Soto Mahoney's little raid? That was nice. Yeah, it is. It's nice. I don't often get raided, actually. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Slots has reached enlightenment. Congratulations. You need higher guardian of shadow. I thought I would. How much do you need uh, to enter Inferno? I can't remember. I believe it's higher than I've got, though. Obviously. Is it is it 15k or something, Guardian Faction? Is it 20k? It could be. Could be. Could be 20k. Um, Let's consult the Oracle. Um, oh, moving through SL. Anarchy online, not bloody wow. Um, there we go, travelling through the Shadowlands. Time to slaughter hecklers, yeah, kind of. Although I, on the Enforcer I can't really be slaughtering much more than... Um, <laughs> much more than the uh, other ones. Penumbra, does it say? It says... Uh, it doesn't give how much faction. Um, try another search. Oh, okay, on. Uh, faction for portals. Let's Google that. Travelling through the Shadowlands. Did, do, did I miss it? I, I have visually in my mind, I, I seem to think I, there's a chart with what you need per portal. I know I've seen that somewhere. Let's expand the search to Guardian Faction. Forums Faction System. Ah, here we go. Um, oh, you guys can't see any of it, can you? Hang on. Yeah, there we go. So, Inferno, 18,000 to get inside in Inferno with Faction. And I have got... 13 in Guardian, so kill some pen hecklers. I can bring a dock, it'll be a long time killing them. Um, but yeah, it might be not a bad idea. You will probably have to do most of the heavy lifting, mind you. I'm just, you know, um, if you've got an NT in Utah, that'd work, yeah, just. Kaboom, 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 kaboom. Go on, hit, hit, um, uh, LFT. You want a Guardian package, faction packet, 10,000. Ah, oh, well, that would solve it as well, wouldn't it? But Newtar has just said um, they're coming on their NT, so I think maybe let them do that. Because I think they want to come and kill things. Um... <laughs> I'm in the romper bar if you want it. Which is ever good. The romper bar is is excellent, yes. But I'll I'll take the offer of kaboom kaboom hecklers. Uh, as is my um idiom. <laughs> oh, I've had a lot of fun in the romper bar over the years. 
Yes, indeed. Too much fun in the romper bar over the years. Wasn't it romper actually means um, the buttocks <laughs> or something? <laughs> it's a translation of another word, isn't it? Romper. Romper. Like a romper <laughs> of the rump. And then if you actually look at the logo for the romper bar, is it Norwegian for bum? <laughs> the bum bar. Go on then, let's, let's, I'll stay in range because let's face it, there's a lot of XP to be had um, from killing these things as well. So, you know, be rude not to, wouldn't I? I'll put those boots back on for now. Oh, something's aggroing me. I'd rather, yeah, I'd, it'd be pretty cool staying in range of you then. As I'm shuffling my little lobby backside around, I'll be getting like mob XP as well, which would be pretty cool. It took, I never knew, I, I never thought of it until somebody Norwegian said romper. Romper means bottom. <laughs> and it's like it's like us saying ass or something like that it's not actually a swear word but it's um uh it's not something your doctor would use if he were talking to you the booty bar yeah effectively yeah hiding up the top of the hill Well, NT goes kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. guy asking about the teeth I think and I'm like well yeah when did I 28 minutes past 40 yeah I was on the other side and ran yeah problem Right, I'm now at 15k. Need to, need need a few more. No, oh, you are doing it. I was out of range. Oh, Spawning a golem. Sorry, my dude. There's not a lot I can do. Okay, we're now at 17,000. Soto Mahoney booty bar with an interest. Oh yes, well done with the um, with the bra use of brackets. Inventive use of brackets award goes to Soto Mahoney. Okay. Prime devourer of light can bugger off. <laughs> Okay, that is now that is now the eighteen hundred, but we are getting like a redonkulous amount of XP as well. Go with the thirty, and I can I can bring this to pandemonium. <laughs> <coughs> what a libel are the goal the um, hecklers two twenty here. Antigo, kaboom, 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 kaboom. 
Hogger man, need help. I'm okay, actually. I'm not sure if I can handle um, getting saved in Inferno. I was just going to get to Inferno, but I didn't have enough faction, so we're just getting enough faction now. Now, I ran up to the Incarnator thinking, okay, I'll, I'll just, you know, park the little uh, new alt at... Uh, the Incarnator, and lo and behold, there was already a corpse on it. With five Golem Teeth left on it. And there was, uh, like, only four minutes left on the corpse, though. It's kind of a shame. Someone in Org just killed him. <laughs> yeah, well, more than twenty odd minutes ago. I think I think the corpse will have gone now. It was like all oh, this is the guy trying to tell me he'd done it. Yeah, there you go. That's me logging in. <laughs> right, twenty five past. I logged this guy in. Ran up there. I got there. I was like, oh my god, and it was just like. I better tell everyone. Only four minutes left, though. And somebody said, Oh my god, I just ran there and... They said they were at the other incarnator, so I'm guessing when they ran there, they didn't run through the pipe. Because I would have done. I'd, I'd have just gone for it. Savik. Hello! Welcome to the stream. Savik is... Oh my god, Penumbra. Yes. <laughs> That's 22k Guardian Faction. What I need is, is chunks more comp lit. I think I'm okay hitting this, because let's face it, I'm not going to pull aggro off an NT hitting it with Garrix. And the other two big nukes, which I can see landing on it. Is he giving his tactical nuke? See it ticking away there before it goes kaboom you dead kaboom you dead you very very dead that's a new tower that's there they said bring in an uh because uh, we got there we what happened right Savic? <laughs> the, the story is um so what happened was i i logged well i started the stream i was logged in on my mule and I was going to trade the um, <clears throat> the ice golem um, pattern to my keeper and then run my keeper to Penumbra. But when I went to log in, I logged the little alt in, kind of half accidentally. Like, chat, chat, click. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just run this tune there first. They're saved in Penumbra. So I ran the little alt up to the incarnate and there was an ice golem there with five teeth on it with four minutes to spare so had I run here with the um, keeper all the way from it probably from Adonis um, <clears throat> wouldn't have gotten it I'd have, I'd have used my own pattern etc And we've had a we had a raid. We had a raid by Soto Mahoney. He was spying on us in um, in Tia. Sky Cannon 1972. Hey Santa Carlos, thank you very much. <laughs> and welcome to the stream. How you doing, Heather? Yes, Santa Carlos. Not the first time I have had that said, but it is still funny. I deny all allegations of espionage. Omni think they own everything anyway, so how could you have been spying? You were simply sightseeing in, um... <laughs> and just, just using a sniper scope to go sightseeing in Tyr. Is Syntax on in any form? I don't know.
Yes, because Soto Mahoney is the only spy, said ASMR. Wise guy, FSB. Oh god, it's the flying brain worm of doom. <laughs> Scott, that GS guy, I am Omni and I simply want more than I will ever get. Ah, well, there you go. It all makes perfect sense now. Welcome to the stream, Scott. Good to see you. How the devil are you? Here I am, bravely fighting uh, hecklers. See, a beard, beard is for life, not just for lockdown. Um, <laughs> Glad to see you around and alive and well and all things. Yes, so I got the camera. That's the, that's me down there in the corner, being all small over the spammy window. Yeah. Yes, hello. Yes, guitars and stuff. And ding. <laughs> That's the arm I was on about. The Rogue PSA one, but the Gator one apparently is really, really good as well, so you'll be fine. What chair is it? A really old one with all the sort of fake faux leathers come off of it. My Epiphone wannabe Paul will be here Tuesday. Ooh, nice. Don't the new Epiphones, haven't they got the the same headstock now? Didn't they decide they weren't going to nib off the edges of the headstock? Oh, what character? Sorry, uh, Sagatu. Um, yeah, I'm on um, the new little enforcer. Soon time for Hodor. Will you be coming? Yes, I will. We've only got ten minutes pandemonium, isn't it? Oh, we're in pen and I forgot to do the thing. Hang on. Turn off the global lighting. But then... Let's put on ray tracing. Sort of. Sort of ray tracing. Probably crashed. <laughs> Ten minutes. Oh, I better get there if I'm going to come. I quite like Penumbra with ray tracing and no global light. Yeah, n now it's not, um, it's not snow, it's mud. Sigato, I saw a shade video from you, an old one, and it started one on my own. Quite amazing. Thanks for the nice bits. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for watching them. Yeah, it's, it's like we've gone to Solstein. It's all ash and mud instead of snow. Nearly got 30k faction. I don't know about taking a 160 enforcer to Hodor Raid. I really don't. <laughs> ASA 22N1, welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? I shouldn't. Right, we're going to... Uh, that'll... I'll oh, go on, kill this one then. I was going to say, we, we can stop now because I need to get a tune up to Hodor if I'm going to do Hodor tonight. You resub today. Welcome back to Rubicar. Nice. I knew you meant that because you, you would have had like a little C2 thing for being sub. It would have come up on, on the chat window. But that's all cool. Like Soto Mahoney has there. Welcome back. Remember Omnitech is your... Omnitech lies. Omnitech lies. 
what does Hodor mean? Hodor is a raid bot. Um, <clears throat> so effectively it's, you know, the old school way of doing a raid, getting points for the raid, and then spending the points on the loot from the raid. I think one more and I'll have 30k faction, you know. Omnitech is always honest. Love always, almost. <laughs> The signs even say Omnitech is your friend. It must be too true. It's not like a corporate dystopian future like we saw in the original Robocop. Wise guy FSB. Rubicar would be a dumpster fire if it was nothing but clan. It is a dumpster fire. What, you, what, you, what gibberish do you speak? I think someone would like to join team. Come on then. Have you forgotten your pen, ring, or glasses? <laughs> faction 10,000. Thank you very much. Guardian faction. Go on then. Right, I now have nearly 40k faction. That's plenty. Thank you. <laughs> Stop dying. Right. Let's let's run to Penumbra. Uh, you're Omni. Well, there's only one thing you can do, uh, Heather. You've you've got to go neutral now. Uh, that's the only that's the only logical answer. <laughs> Emph is you, is it? I thought it was. Are you telling me you haven't got Penumbra glasses on that tune? You've just come to make me feel very, very slow. I am. I've got max run speed that I can put on without much else. You reach the max for your title. See? <laughs> and unfortunately, it's not quite leet. You don't need them. Oh, yeah, I suppose you... Um, your regular regen is probably dealing with it. We've got five minutes till Hodor. I'm, I'll do real panned. Oh, good damn. Rubber banding. Should we go back to normal vision? Or do you want to stay with... Um, think I'll put it back to normal. Light. Light. Go for Ruby Car like. I'm melting. <laughs> Going to per yeah. What? Watch, watch the camera. Watch the camera. Going to Penumbra be like. Yeah, I'll make a meme of that. <laughs> Up the gamma on the on the image and just go for it. <laughs> Don't mention side XP to Kalos. Is it still completely in the toilet? Yep, completely in the toilet. Yeah, I don't care about side XP. What I do care about is people trying to gloat about it. That's just cringe. It's just like, oh, stop. Especially if they had nothing to do with it whatsoever. It's like, oh, please don't. <laughs> it's like what they're doing is like, I just feel like I have to apologise for you to other people. And you do that, it's just like, oh, please don't. Yeah, it's it, when it's in any state of equilibrium, it's around f sort of 15-ish percent. And then in February, somebody was doing noughties and it ended up, clan was like 25% uh, Omni had zero. Um, and now it's just changed again, so... Yay, Inferno. Actually, I don't like the red in Inferno. Yeah, let's have green. <laughs> yeah, it was February, May, yeah. 
and I, I didn't spend any time going, yay, clan, you know, and all the tribalism kind of thing. It's never been my bag. <laughs> I've never, you know, never really considered it something I want to do, you know. It's just, yeah, yeah. Have you got a hold hell at me? I do. I don't know if I can equip it, though. Um, what are we, I'm probably not quite able to equip it. 600 something, but I can't remember what. You're right, Will. The requirements psychic and sense from 600. Uh, I'd probably do it with a couple of buffs, yeah. Probably get it on. They run past. So nowadays all... Well, it's not even PvP. They just... Like, they were stacking um, Orbital Strike on the control tower. That's the new meta. So you can take out a quality 300 base without disabling the shield or fighting anyone in about 20 seconds. <laughs> just... Who cares? Done. Yeah, stacking Orbital Strike is the new meta. Place object on ground. Ugh, it's a mess. When you do the bot's XP command, should side XP show up there? I don't know. Next meta, DDoSing the, service, the server. Mm, I've had that a few times. When Funcom made gold ingots go away from the, um, from the hecklers. <laughs> the gold miners were not amused um, and DDoSed Funcom. So, took the servers on. The, the servers were very sketchy for about a week. You don't have side XP reflected. Well, it should show on your character. Like that. Right, is there any Somphos nearby? We need an insignia. <laughs> Gamma lock up 42 tunes <laughs> and they're all neutral. Yay! Can I even see him? There he is. Nada on that one. He's empty. It'd be funny if they disabled it and just didn't tell anyone. That'd be one of the things they'd probably do. I don't know if with bots, because I don't run the guild bot. I think you're killing... Yeah, those, those guys don't drop it. They're quest mobs. The ones you, you're spanking on over there. I mean, by all means, kill them. Nice XP. Okay, run away. Yeah, those guys don't drop insignias. Side XP, 0.29%. Well, it's more than we've got, but... You know. I mean, honestly, it does not concern me. I mean, I, I just gave up on... PvP ever being right six years ago. NT leaving you today. They won't even scratch you with your heal delta. Yeah, there's some north. West, even. They were one of my favourite things, you know, spending an entire evening taking out a base or getting, you know, sent to the reclaim several hundred times or whatever. It used to be a lot of fun. Um, and then people started boxing and kind of ruined it. And then the who's got the best hacks peeing up the wall contest just destroyed it. Wrong insignia. Cannot use...
Uh, same again. <laughs> it's determined. Last time I ran a tune into um, Inferno, it was, um, I think, the Advi. Oh, no, it wasn't the Advi that it happened on. It was the... I think it was the dock. We got here, and the first mob we killed dropped the doja. <laughs> it's like, win? <laughs> No good merit board, yeah. Well, you can kind of use a few of them, but you don't get the comp lit bonus, do you, on most of them? Things like that. Sky cannon, trying to think of what you can make. Can make a hat? Little bird? <laughs> There's a quote from Airplane. He hands the guy a sheet of paper and says, What do you make of this? And he says, Well, I can make a, I can make a hat. I could make a cravat. I could make. <laughs> oh, well, it was funny at the time. And 28 of my tunes are Atrox, Atrox. A 6 ad V box, oh good god. Does the demon? Yeah, I think so. They drop doges, I know that. You ask, you need GSF, tells you. And Starkness. They drop it every time, first time. <coughs> Six Advies literally herding cats. Yep, there you go. Literally herding cats. Yeah, I was planning to do a little bit on this too, maybe, and then um, head off for. Leave me alone. I only a little noob here. It's squishy. Don't let me die. Where is corpse? No. Hex Docks. <laughs> hey, welcome. We've ended up with a team already. One Advi's not much of a herd. It's not. I think you need more than one for it to be a herd. I'm not 100% sure that um, demons drop insignias. There's a Somphos there someone just killed. My suspicion is they were killing it for a doja, but it might have an insignia on it. I shall stay and investigate. Don't cats have prides? Um, cardboard boxes. That's what cats like the best. Any kind of cardboard box. They'll get in it. It is insignia on it. Nice. When I can eventually loot it. <laughs> I was actually watching his dream. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yay! We got the insignia. I must I must run like the wind and save in the garden and then have to save in Penumbra again because I haven't done the Penumbra quest yet. Is Hodor al already left for iPand? They probably have. And they're pretty timely for Pand. A gaggle of cats. I thought a gaggle was geese. Is it not? Going for... yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll try and join on a proper tune with um, Hodor for Real Pand. Cowls, not cats. Uh, no, I'm one off. They broke the mold. It was a wise thing to do. There we go. Just having a weird hug with the garden. Right, there we go. Saved. We are saved here. Congrats on garden. So let's have a look. The why can I never hit the same bag twice? Right. So, hell at bay, psychic sense. I can maybe equip it actually. You get one of them. Throw it in. How are we doing now? Let's have a look. I think I'm on cap for base abilities, but it's enough. 
it is enough to equip it. Your sense and your title is required to be level six, so I can't. I've got to get some more levels. Or... <laughs> or suffer. Yeah. I thought it was title six. I was there thinking, not there yet. Uh, 26 levels to go. Roughly. Kneecapping five. What did I get? Brawling! That one would be nice. Kneecapping five. Yeah, so, I mean, technically you could bring this tune there, but everyone would be trying to keep them alive. You can equip pre-201, but it will not help with the debuff. No, it says on it. When I put it on, it just says, oh, sense needs to be. Ah, uh, no, it's my sense is way too low. I was looking at intelligence and psychic for reasons. Uh, yeah, no, I'm way off on sense. I'd be even further off if I was Atrox. Yeah, I've got the two bits for the other rings and the goggles. Um, but I don't have the comp lit, <laughs> so... <laughs> sense sensor, enhanced senses, perks... Yeah, I'd probably do it, but... I don't, there's no point taking this tune to Pandemonium, they can't do much there. You don't think you've ever done iPand? Instance panned? Yeah, you have. You will have. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. I think I'm capped on anything I want to spend in it except nano skills. Saving panned garden quicker to get to Urgo. Yeah, if you survive the dot. That's the beast at the end. Yeah, yeah. if you want a burden of competence or whatever, then you, you're going to get it there or get incredibly lucky at the collector. And I do mean incredibly lucky. Can sit and cocoon <laughs> the dot. <laughs> yeah, that's helpful when you're trying to do a raid there. Right, we've saved here, we've managed, and now... I need to go back to Penumbra. Because that's where the quests are. <laughs> well, they won't have done... the full raid yet anyway, will they? I can leave this tune here, log something useful and come to the iPan, but where, where's, I, where's Hodor now in, in Pandemonium? Where have they gotten to now? Hold Hell at Bay a quest item. Yeah, you can. You need uh, Razor's Fang, Zark's, something else, and then you need to spawn the Helion Mirror dude. You're on the second mid. I'll wait until you regroup for real pand. That'll be easier. Yeah, the dragon. Tachoo. Oh, Gesundheit. <laughs> Right, I think the quick way back to where I was in the Penumbra quest. I need to put the goggles back on. I can't make the goggles. I need 1,250 in comp late and I haven't got it. <clears throat> yeah, you can buy it. Or you can you can have nice people like Vulpu come along and go, here, have things. Um, he, which he does like doing. I've gone to the wrong garden. And I need a Penumbra Doja as well. I hate farming. The, the, my least favourite place for farming a Doja is Penumbra. Especially once you're sort of 190-ish or whatever, because at that point, or like 200, the last fight, you're like between 200 and... Um, 205 it is for the the uh, the other one 
the Inferno one, you're kind of like... Not an F NCU, don't talk rot. There we go. Um, yeah, you're, you're kind of like chasing after grey mobs that are regening on you. I always end up going for demons of water. They're at least a higher level to... <laughs> but they are a pain in the ass. Yeah, you should get a whole hell of a, I mean... Hell, if nothing else... It's like an additional 500 nano resist is pretty nice. Right, I'm going to get to the scientist and I'm going to get some water. Which will be good. Yeah, this is the... the Hang on, just quickly, is Scott, are you still here, or have you gone? Is Scott still here? It's Scott is still here. <clears throat> so just quickly for Scott, this is the stand. Like wh wherever you let go of it, it stays there. And that's with this mic, the shot mount and everything else. This shot mount fits your mic as well. Yeah, but, you know, you put it where you want it. Makes you feel like um, an astronaut, because wherever you put it, it stays there. Apparently the Gator one's really good as well. Yeah, I read about the Gator one. It's quite good. What I like with this is they use um, the springs instead of being visible. Are actually inside the hinges individually, and they work like a um, you know the spring in a clockwork watch or clock. The that type of spring, so like a coiled leaf spring, which means they're silent. Which is, I also like. Is the gate of one the one where the cable runs inside of it? Because that's quite a nice feature. Yeah, so long as the cable never gives out or gets noisy. Good job. That's my only concern with that one was that. Was, yeah, I know how rough I can be with things. So when I eventually break the cable, and I will... <laughs> I'm going to have to tear it to bits and put a new one in it. Oh, the cable is replaceable. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've got a light on my mixing desk, um, which is just an old analog mixer. Right, what rings have I got on? Because I've done one of the rings. Yeah, there you go. A has on the water ring. Alignment Omni, side token zero, side XP 24.6561, attacking malfunctioning cleaning robot. <laughs> Did you make a new tune? <clears throat> you receive. <coughs> Excuse me. Clan and Omni both get the same XP. Yeah, but when you start, aren't you neutral? Or did you already set whatever? Yeah, I would say it was capped XP at that point, yeah. I think Sav's right. Now all my audio runs through FL Studio, so things may happen. <laughs> One thing I've heard from a lot and a lot of people is disable HDMI audio before updating Windows or it will completely screw up all your settings inside um, VB cable and mixer. It's like every time it does it, it screws everything up. Or driver update on the graphics card screws it up as well. Apparently. I don't know. Maybe, and I don't know what your speaker setup is or whatever. 
That's something everybody told me about that. But I don't... My, my monitor has speakers, but yeah, the audio's disabled. Yeah, the way to get Streamlabs OBS to remember a setting with a VST or any kind of plugin is to set it and have the menu open for setting it and close <laughs> Streamlabs OBS while the menu for adjusting it is actually open. Um, and it, uh, it then when you restart it, it does remember the setting. Doing it as you're supposed to doesn't work. It, next time you restart Streamlabs or it updates, it forgets. You have to go back. It's a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the live screen. Been looking at me for far too long. Your eyes must be burning. Oh, the horror. Right, I've got to do the numbers. Sabic, are you still with us? Measuring of ice. Can you note down some numbers for me if you're still here, Sav, or are you on? Are you in Hodor at the minute, healing everybody? Yeah, there's only one active audio device on my system as far as Windows is concerned. <clears throat> and it's the M track interface. Okay, can you can you make a note of numbers? Uh today's numbers twenty three point eight. You got that one? Twenty three point eight, Sav. Wrong nano, there we go. Thank you very big. Thank you, nurse. <laughs> oh, my eyes. No. Oh, that's better. And... Yay. Funky. Uh, today. Right, 20.3 for this one. Get your frame rate tanks with RTX around here. <laughs> Dear me. No wonder it's all muddy. It's way too warm for snow. Yeah. Unless it's... Um, British Imperial... Um, the, the full title for the... <laughs> for Imperial is... It's comical. Yeah, the British Empire's... Um, something or other. And people go, spare me the... The um, I will never bow to the um, <laughs> the tyranny of the metric system. I'm going by using the col <laughs> the British Empire's, um, it was, which is when they did it, the 1836 something or other measures. Uh, it just makes me laugh when they say, "I refuse." Where's the goddamn thing? I've gone the wrong way. That's why. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. If it's good enough for Queen Victoria... Yeah, what is it? Um, Imperial weights and... Yeah. Yeah, it's from Britannica.com. Um, British Imperial System. <laughs> yeah. British Imperial started officially from Great Britain in 1824. <laughs> yeah. 
Fahrenheit was a German and Celsius a Swede, so really the British Empire could use either one. Yeah, I suppose so. I think half our royal family are German anyway, or something. Right, um, looks like we're running back to Penumbra via um, Inferno, because that's where I'm saved. I think somebody's box died. Uh, have I got Inferno boots on? I do. They changed the name so it wouldn't. Yes, they did. And then the, on the in the First World War. They changed it to Windsor. Before that, it was uh, very German sounding. The Queen is Elven. Aren't they supposed to be reptiles as well? Or something? <laughs> Glinears, what's my favourite class? Sex Ed. No, I'm kidding. I don't really have one. Um, I'm keeper at the moment, it changes, you know. I have, I have favourites. <laughs> and then the next week I'm like, I'm not feeling this class anymore, I, f I fancy playing another tune. And I'm, I'm always making some tune or other, anyway. My surname is German, Landau. Yeah, yeah it is. My main was an enforcer, yeah. Well, that's it, people had mains back in the day, when it was difficult to XP. Now it's so ridiculously... Um, easy to level that mostly people just have a bunch of tunes. I mean, compared to the old days, pre-dailies and Inferno missions and everything else, uh, yeah, it did. It took a long time to get any character up to a decent level, but nowadays it's kind of like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I made this character... Let's have a look. Born. September 2nd. There you go. 10 o'clock in the morning. On a Thursday. And now they are 164. <laughs> you know, in that amount of time is kind of silly. But it just is. It is really, really easy to level in AO now. Keep forgetting. Put your feet on fire, you'll run faster. Yeah, I need to get to 1250 comp lit and uh, combine all the protection gear into one ring. And I'm, I'm not done like heckler teams or, you know, where you just sit in team while an NT and enforcer pretty much take care of everything. Done none of that. Just um, quests and dailies and and then events over the weekend, you get a ton. Like at the moment, this tune is, uh, where are we? AI 19. <laughs> Bash the rocks. Someone came up for a much better name for the heckler type mobs in uh, the wreck. Said we should call them wrecklers instead of hecklers. And I was like, why did no one think of this before? Um, because <laughs> it's just too good. Bash the rocks together, don't sit on them. Yep. My best moment was getting the beast back piece. Burden of confidence. Yep. It is. It's a very nice piece. It's not the ultimate piece back armor anymore, though. It's the bulwark. Condemned bulwark tank armor. Because they made a new version... Um, in addition to the old one of Temple of the Three Winds and the Subway and put a load of new bosses and loot in them. They're pretty hard to do and you can only take six people in at a time uh, in a raid group. And it is quite tough. Eumenides especially. Uh, he's massively more difficult than the old one. Yeah, it does, it does look amazing, yeah. It's also got some amazing stats on it, especially for a tank. 
heal reactivity for like what is it ten percent on a bulwark? Gonna drop and watch the Eagles game later, dude. Later, Soto Mahoney. Always glad when you come along. Have fun, enjoy the game. Apparently he's going bird watching. I don't know. <laughs> The low level dungeons, yeah. To be honest with you, I think a lot of the lower level game is more engaging than much of the the end game. But adding the new dungeons that they have do has improved things quite a bit. Um but it can get a bit sameish doing that raid over and over. Fly, Eagles fly on the road to victory. What what game is it? Is it round ball? Football? What is it? Because, uh, you know, I have no idea. American football, all right. I, I, don't, I don't do sporting, basically. Can you get XP? No, because you're in a raid. So you don't get XP there. Right, I think... I think I'll stay like this, I think. Competitive singing of Hotel California. <laughs> Full Sector 7 and Sector 10 seems quite challenging. Yeah, I would think so. I've never done the whole thing. I think I, uh, whenever I go there, I just go there to farm a bit of stuff and then call it a day. Where the hell am I going? Where's my map? Singing, hmm, 23.5k. Soon. You will inflict singing on everyone. Or rather, you'll you'll make me do it. The best hotel in California was clearly sung by William Hung. Uh, I kind of like the original. And leave it at that. Now I think I need a battery change here. Thankfully, I have one I prepared earlier. Auto run for the win. Yeah, I would I would play those over the stream and and critique them. Um, except you just instantly get a copyright notice and blah blah blah. So. I was getting water before, wasn't I? I was thinking, I'm got my mouth dry. I shall be right back. Yes, I will remember to remove headphones. Yes, my Steve I t-shirt from 2012, when he came and played the UK. <clears throat> Sky kind of redeemed. God almighty, they're all trying to drown me now. Uh, that's better. Real... Big Neo. Hey, Santa. Have you been naughty or nice this year? I will know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Big white beard.
Uh, the old battery's crap. I should have charged that up earlier. You're preparing for real panned now. Shall I come? I should I should go, shouldn't I? Should I go to real panned? Santa Kalos is drinking a cup of tears from his elven workers and forced into servitude. Oh, God. Is it a private raid? It's a raid bot. Um, so, without any points, you're not going to get much. Okay, I will go and... Uh, gosh, overdriving the mic. I will go and I will... I'll bring my keeper along. Welcome to the stream with Santa Carlos and me and Sav of the Elves. If you want to write them down, if you pause now. Yes, good plan actually, Savik. Well remembered. Eh, back of an envelope. Like all good plans. Any 3.8 and... 20.3. Yeah, we'd have finished this bit of the quest if I hadn't f lagged off the edge. Uh, what shall I bring? 220 dock or 220 uh, keeper? Just need a lollipop. Kojak now, Scott. <laughs> Kojak was really cool. Some reason, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you cut off the beard. I quite like mine, so I've left it on. E oh, forgot to open a bag first. Yeah, we just need the lollipop. hole in the wall. Someone just took a lobby base. See how long they keep it for before. Um, what's it strike? Unread news. Yeah, it has done the, not what I intended to do. Damn you, interface of doom. You had such a lovely Walt Whitman beard going. <laughs> I'm holding a, a, a service for Scott's former beard. You can always grow that beard back, you know, guys. You just has to not shave. <laughs> that's just, that's how, hard, how, how hard is it to grow a beard? It's pretty easy. Don't shave. Right, seems we're doing panned and all that. Let's, let's do without the old ray tracing and whatnot. There we go. Straight away. And you know what? Chat config. Eh. Yep, that'll do, I think. And... Yep, there you go. Cannot. Yay, new engine with this many people. Oh, from the alien event last night, I got some items for a future uh, fashion show. Some... 
Uh, blood soaked cloaks. A uh, copy of Excalibur's. I don't think I've ever seen you without a beard. Yeah, of course you have. You look at, you can see old videos of me in the band from like 2012. Um, no beard there. Still had dark hair there as well. All started going wrong at 50. <laughs> Rock reminder and tell Hodor raid callers current callers copy pasta there we go I remember having hair. <laughs> I don't know, I'm being very lucky, I guess. It'll go one day. It's not as thick as it used to be. Look, no beard. Yep, there you go. That's me with longer hair and no beard. Overpowered GG. Kalos, AO seems alive when you stream it. When I'm in game, it feels dead. Then follow me around then. <laughs> Showers are much shorter now. Yep, there you go. There's a prime reason to shave the head and beard in and out of the shower faster. Maybe I should, yeah. Just wherever I am, follow me around. There's always stuff going on. I don't know. I don't know, dude. The game always feels alive to me. I went to 2019 last night because Space Quest went over there to do a little bit of um, alien XP and research love. So I went over, streamed a bit of it after this one. And yeah... He wasn't half spamming some uh, XP. And it was in ICC as well, but how, it's so quiet on 2019. You can do it, that raid there, and it's fine. <laughs> Two weeks from today for the social. Yeah, anytime, Scott, whatever works for you. I mean, I ain't got much to give away, but I got a couple of bits. At least contribute. I have to ask Volpu if he's got any spare loots to give away. <laughs> Will be donated, you have offers already. Yeah, let's hope Funcom don't get fussy with it, let's say. With inventory something something. Get your Trox thongs ready. Oh yeah. If you've got an older m mule account, I would maybe put some of it on, put it all on that one and then have that one feed it out during the event or whatever. I don't know. Athrox, absolutely. I still love that. <laughs> it was a typo on Discord. Uh, was it Starkness? He said, uh, my favourite breeds in order of preference. And the first one he typed was Athrox. So I went, oh yeah, it's that dinosaur meme, innit? Athrox. <laughs> yeah, you need. It was, yeah. Oh, it made me cry laughing when I said it out loud. Because immediately I pictured, you know, that dinosaur meme. So I just made made a, an emote. Yeah. <laughs> what tune do you play? Athrox. It's just a simple typo or, you know, what have you, so. Any of my baffs? Elude pain, might need a refresh. 
I think the others are okay. They look okay. I have no anti trox thong glasses on my dock. Oh lordy lordy, look away. Ass trox. <laughs> That's pretty good, nice one. Yeah, what do you call an Atrox in a song? Astrox. Oh fuck, get up there. That's, that's pretty good, that Heather, fair dues. I, 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 I am envisaging a new emote for Astrox. I should have switched to the vanilla client for this. He said at 15 frames a second in a, in a big raid. Like the, it makes it feel more like the old days, though. You know, <laughs> it's like <laughs> got no frame rate. Like the original days of doing panned on single core processors, dual core if you were a millionaire. Army of leaks. Yeah, you must be in leak form. It causes less frame loss because it's the same mesh. Kind of true. It kind of worked. But I was always there on the Advy, so it was like 20 minutes of standing there and buffing everybody. Because there's no... or I didn't have the team version of Leap. I don't think there was one, actually. I think there was only Leap Other at the time. I can't remember because they changed all the Advy nanos anyway. Does AO even use? Yeah, it does. It will, if there's there, you can see it running on more than one core, at least. Even though it's 32-bit, it will run on, like, two, I think. Meditative Gloves of the Aquarius. Quite handy. 25 Intelligence and Psychic. I've got some on my... Um, Atrox crap, and I needed them as well when I was trying to do alphas on him and succeeded we got so far with the actual um, putting them in on stream I was like no that's it we, we're dead ended we can't go any further and Vulpu went meditative, meditative gloves <laughs> so we, we <laughs> kept spawning iPand until we got Aquarius and then looted the gloves and went back to twinking <laughs> I'll be honoured if you did make it an emo. If I can think of a way of doing it that won't get banned, I will. Nineteen, but I am streaming on the same system as well, so it does take its toll. Not much. It does a bit. Lose a few frames a second. And I am running on an older system. 3000 series uh, processor i7 it was all the dogs danglies back in the day so yeah proper old Didn't, wall running is harder with low fps trying to get your timing right is much harder it's way easier at 50 60 frames a second But I have experienced it at like three or four frames a second back in the day. So I can I can adapt when you had no choice. If I was on the vanilla engine, I'd be 40, 50 frames a second even now. I think. Roughly that, anyway. Yeah, it was real pandemonium and the raid could have up to 100 people in it. Yep. Because it wasn't all this raid group business, it was just go. What's the best processor? Any new one, really. Rather than, I mean, it runs about the same on whatever you've got because it can't take advantage of the new technology 
You know, like if you go and get a new Ryzen 16 core or what have you, it it doesn't really take advantage of it. As long as you've got four cores, you, you're pretty good. But yeah, gigahertz, faster you can clock it or um, the IPC. Or, or what's it called? Instructions per clock. Which generationally does get better on most processors. So as long as you've got something half decent in that respect, it's um, it runs better. Depends if you want to use ray tracing. Yeah, that hammers your GPU. <laughs> Definitely hammers it. Oh no, Wraith is about to expire. I have obviously not buffed this tune in a while. It'll be fine. Big old keeper. With the raid, if I switch ray tracing on now, it I'd probably crash or fall off the edge or both. So I'm, I'm going to not do that. But the thing is, I'm so used to AO not sort of um, running particularly well that it just doesn't seem any different. If you use DG Voodoo and you're just playing on your own, you're like 200 frames a second. Internally, the the base engine's only rendering 100, but with DG Voodoo, it is actually rendering the extra frames as well, so it just makes all the animations and such look a lot smoother on screen. It's pretty nice. Capricorn's reliable memory. That's pretty nice. I think I've got one on the shade. 120 NCU, Biomet, and 12 to nano resist. Ugh. Waiting for instructions. I'm thinking of putting my chat window monitor on this side, nearer the, nearer the camera, but I don't know. It'll take me months to get used to looking that way, and the arm will be in the way. So, yeah, nah. <laughs> Unless I put the arm on this side, then the camera's... That might... I'll have a faff midweek, while, when I've got a night where I'm not streaming, I'll have a play. I can feel a sneeze coming on. I'm really pleased with the Exciter VST plugin because you can't hear this mechanical keyboard. It's a Logitech G710. You can't hear it on the mic. I guess if I held it up to the microphone, you would, but... No. Got it. Uh, it came... It's called Vocal Strip. It came with... Um, Sonar 10 or 11. Can't remember which one I bought. It was part of that installation. Um, but Sonar's disappeared now, hasn't it? Gibson bought it and destroyed it or something. Good guy, Gibson. Yeah, vocal strip. Yeah. It looks like... We can open the filters. Okay, and... Display capture. Yeah, it looks like that. Boom. I need to close that again. And go back to game capture. There we go. 
yeah, if you just use the compander on it, it works really, really well. Probably, it's not when it's as sophisticated as, like, um, RTX voice, which I did try, but it, it kind of killed the um, dynamics over 6K. Could just be because I haven't got an RTX card and all that kind of stuff, I don't know. I'd like to try it on an RTX card, but that would mean I would have an RTX card, and I'd be very happy anyway. <laughs> but yeah, an expander's like the oldest tool ever for, the, you know, like radio and live broadcast for keeping background noise down without sounding like you're going through five million tons of compressors. And it works really well. Guy Cannon 1972 doing the Illuminati dollars. <coughs> yeah, it works more like a noise gate than anything else, an expander. We probably got it, but yeah, it's nice, it sounds organic. Yeah, well, all I do is, um, you know, you can add VST plugins to Streamlabs, it's just on there. That's it. And just put it on that audio feed as a filter and then a little EQ just to even it out and suck out some of the low end it's got a very boomy voice so it can sound too much you know so I always like scoop out a bit of the, the bass end I'll show you when we're not trying to play at 15 frames a second wait till we're in the beast room then I'll show you been playing with yeah I, I was listening to that you the harmonizer was pretty interesting and then the um the auto tune type thing that was good you were sounding very glados from portal which i i approve of <laughs> i would record all kinds of phrases with that and put them on the stream deck as mp3s and then kind of queue them up some people uh, say something you know that's like a catchphrase or whatever just Bang, you've just got it auto on um, on there rather than faffing with five settings to get to it. I got a horrible feeling on the enforcer that they're title locked on comp lit, so I'm not gonna get that bloody ring made anytime soon. It's annoying. Yeah, VSTs are very, very light. They're a really nice, tidy way of doing stuff. Hence their popularity in um, DARS. I mean, they're so sophisticated now. It's unreal. Like, Guitar Rig is added as a VST plugin um, via a thing similar to uh, VB Cable using the ASIO driver. So the guitar goes into the right hand channel on my interface and then that is fed directly into guitar rig and then out in stereo as a separate audio feed because they've got some really nice stereo choruses and stuff in guitar rig so when you play it over the stream everyone gets it in stereo sounds awesome can't think of what the it's, it's very similar um, to VB Cable, but much lighter. And I only use it for that one job anyway, so... The full version of VB Cable, though, if you're two-boxing, it's amazing, because you can do all the signal passing over network. So no audio um, noise accumulation running cables between two computers and all that. It's pretty epic. The OVOX plugin. I shall have a look. Is that the one that does the the, the voice harmonising and all that? I can kind of do half of it organically anyway. 
<laughs> well, not all of it, like, but you know what I mean. Movie voiceover, man. Let's relax your voice. Let it lower. Get closer to the microphone. <laughs> yeah, I had to play around with a, an auto-tune system called Melodyne. I was just... It's voodoo. It's black magic, I tell you. Um, I never really used it for much. But I could see how massively powerful it was. I played the guitar solo out of tune. Just, you know, like some of the bends were a bit out. And then you could completely fix them with Melodyne. Absolute. It is just complete black magic for audio. Carl, I was big. Big's Bebop video you did the voiceover for. Yeah, I was fun doing that for him. I did like five different variations of that and said, you pick what you like. So each each sentence I phrased, like, the, the pitch and emotional content and emphasis of the voice is different on each one, and just said, you... and sent them all over as separate files, and just said, do what you want. So, yeah, we just put it together the way he wanted it to sound. Which is what voiceover work is like, basically. And then Soto Mahoney wants me to do um, <laughs> an audio book of profit with honour. So I just read the pro prologue for him, sent him the file. Finally, there we go. Uh, I sent Sabic, sent it to Sabic as well. She was like, "Ooh," because <laughs> I'm not distracted by playing a game. I'm just looking at the text on screen and letting the imagery flood into my mind and then just, you know, doing it. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun to do, but the book is, is very long. And to keep, like, suppose you do, like, half a sentence and halfway through the sentence you stumble on one word. You've got to go back and do the whole sentence again as a new file. Otherwise, it's really, well, maybe you don't have to, but it sounds more kind of authentic if you do. We need some Grand Theft humidity up in this guy's face. <laughs> Where's the trader at? It was only... Uh, not even a minute's worth of narration. Because it was one of those, like, read the line, shut your eyes. Fo you know, focus just on your voice inside the headphones and tell the story. Uh, so it's way different to this. This is more like being a DJ or, um, a, you know, a, a, a radio disc jockey or something like that, you know? It's far more akin to that than it is. Doing the narration thing is much more like acting than it is anything else. Voice acting is acting, you know? I see a pink. If I can even get to it. Ugh, am I? Was that double spawn? Because it is going down pretty quick. Must be hitting these hard. Well, nobody else is hitting the ads because <laughs> I could ruin back on me. And I died. I will not get back. The portals will be gone. Kind of a shame. And... Don't need a can, I'm a keeper. I was in the team of one, so... <laughs> Tough beans. Yeah, if it was I panned, I'd try and run back, but no point really. Beast was at about 50%. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Don't make me change my HUD. Damn you. Save Bebop. Bomb ICC. I have done a little more voice work for him, but I don't know... What's going to happen. I don't know what the uh, the final plot or whatever's going to be. So, there you go. I must go an adult. You've got some adulting to do. <laughs> I know what you mean. Adult-ing. Have a, have a good rest of the day, Scott, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. Good to see you back in the fold. Bye-bye. Happy hunting. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll go back to the uh, little enforcer and carry on. Right, they're already doing loot, so yeah, running back doesn't help anybody, anybody. About an hour for Sector 42. Okay, well, we can get a bit more of the Penumbra quest done. We can at least get the, um, the what's a known things done, can't we? Also... Tell Hodor raid points. 9,930. Ooh, in with a chance. Maybe. I'm pretty sure he's not going to kill off the main character. <laughs> but I don't know. It could happen. It could. Yeah, and if you if you don't want to die in a raid, turn up on time. Is is the motto of the day. <laughs> Keepers, so many buffs, so little time. I need to go pee as well. Drinking all this water. Right, I'll be back very shortly. Okay, where was I up to? Enzleric redeemed hydrate for 100. Thank you very much. And finally, Punisher of the Wicked, which will be overwritten as soon as I join the raid. Right, I'm going to go park the keeper there. Yeah, I think I had way too many um, ads or something. God knows. I didn't even really see what killed me there. I was just too busy attacking everything. 
and trying to read chat and tons of other stuff. <laughs> ah, spammer. Don't do it. Absolute waste of money. Two billion for four dollars. What if I told you you could have thirty billion for fifteen? Well, you can. Go to the Funcom official site and buy a Grace. Sell it on GMI. Enjoy. Rip FPS backwards. Yes, it's so broken. Um, <laughs> the frame rate is so low, it's going in reverse. It's now seconds per frame. <clears throat> Wafu executes composite moochums eight hours in your NCU. Thank you very much, wise guy, for the buff. <laughs> <laughs> when we were last on the tune, they were in Penumbra, falling off the edge. I think our bot's gone down. Yep. <laughs> Bad Wolf. Thank you again for getting RTX working. Rip bot. Um, do -do 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 -do. Um. I'll post that on Storm's own little Discord server. See if the host can get it back up for us. Oh, getting, yeah. It's a bit of a palaver, to be honest, but um, it is good. I like it around certain places, and it's great for... Uh, like, I, I, I gave a load of it to um, uh, Big Man Force. Because he was like, God, this would save so much time if I could record with reflections and stuff. So as soon as I sort of said, oh, you need blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. I'm going to have to re re-record a ton of footage and then I found out he was using fraps and went get rid of fraps right now <laughs> don't be recording AVI files um, I said fraps is basically dog poop by today's standards go and get OBS it's free and it's about a million times more powerful H.264 my friend right today's numbers is 20.3 again 20.3 ASMR oh it's got a crinkly window as well <laughs> okay so that's another one down We've got to remember that we are saved in Inferno, so don't go hitting the beacon to get anywhere. Yeah, RTX is, is interesting, um, but it doesn't work well in every situation. That's the only thing. You should well. Have you looked at what the reward is for your class? I mean, for your crap, you get your first um, extra pet today. Nineteen point seven.
Goodbye. Right. And return. Yeah, I mean, the the reward is different for different classes, but... <laughs> Savik makes note. <laughs> Does he always want the same question, though? I think that's all of them, though, Sav, isn't it? Has he got... Is there another one? He wants the sum. Is it always the sum? Yeah, there's four. Yeah. Yeah, it's always the sum, but the numbers are different every time. Yeah, I thought it was. One day he'll go, what is the median? <laughs> I'm going to go, 20-ish. Uh, <laughs> or the average. Everyone knows, what, well, I know Savick knows, but does everyone know what the median means? I got your ice data. He wants the sum, which is Savik. Dun, da, 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 da. Savik can do it in her head as well. I I would put it in a calculator and not trust myself. It well, the best description is oh nineteen point seven. Okay, the numbers I've got are 23.8, 20.3, 20.3, and then 19.7. The median. Median, not medium. Now, the median is the most um, 84.1, I thought so. Obviously, I was doing it in my head. Composite infusions. Oh, all my buffs are running out. Maybe you can help me now and tell me a little about what happened with the catechism. I'll go on then. The median is the most common number, so to speak. So let's say you go and play bingo five nights a week, and on three of those nights you win nothing, and then on one night you win $2, and then on the next night you win $10. And if you add it all together and divide it, it'd say, what can you expect to win? You would get an average. But it's not what the likely outcome is going to be. The median would be a different number. What kind of person plays bingo five nights a week? Uh, not me. <laughs> I played it once in a fun, uh, fun night in a pub. They did a quiz and then a bingo. Um, but yeah. Now I've lost all my stuffs, so I need to go back to Rubicar and get all my buffs back. So we're going to do that. <laughs> what kind of person plays bingo? <laughs> do you know what? There are people that do. There's bingo halls. It, it, it depends. Certain regions, uh, it's really popular. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. His Vish J has reached enlightenment. Congrats. Oh yeah, it's gambling. It is gambling, there's no two ways about it. But um, yeah, some people absolutely love it. No tank skills. An enforcer. <laughs> Fair dudes. 
Yeah, it's gambling. So, like all gambling, it's potentially addictive. Right. I am going to go make myself a proper drink, a cup of tea, and uh, I will return shortly. There you go. Headphones on, on the mic. Chair on top of the bloody cable. There you go. Got people dancing in front of me. Iraq, good evening, good evening. Thanks for the assist earlier on. Uh, okay, I need baths. Yes, I do. HP. Uh, I need MP buffs. Actually, I'm going to turn ray tracing off. Make, it can make it look quite dark at times. Like then, what do I need? Uh, faster than your shadow. Infu uh, composite infuses. Um, 
probably a refresh on hack and quack which I can do without bump logging trader wouldn't do it now oh, the buffs just to be running around with rather than a wrangle so I can use all my nanos and such Are we doing trade and repair? Uh, max for title. Damn you. Abilities. Your breed maximum has been reached. I hate that. So I can't do the um, the ring upgrades. A grace for four basic armor sets. Oh yeah, for Rubicar. 2019, so they're paying for it over here. I said that would happen. Everyone said, shut up, Carlos, you don't know what you're talking about. I said, it will happen. Um, but nobody wanted to believe me. So, yeah. Everyone said, you don't know nothing. You know nothing. And I was saying, I may not know much, but I can figure that out. <laughs> it's not difficult. Okay, give myself a fresh, shiny hack and quack. What I like on this tune, though, is it can solo all of the wreck quite quite easily now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you see, with the boots, say, um, God, I've got too much crap going on here. Uh, I think it's that one for the boots. Turn them into a ring. So is, is it that one? Fix you, me, he, me. <laughs> so Jens Lerick, I know. Uh, whichever one that it is that actually does it. I thought it was that. Is it not that one? Is it the other thing? Thank you very much. Yeah, I've got two of those, two slippers, two copies of the Excalibur, but they're 159 ones. So they're on the high end but slightly easier to put on than the exact copy so probably desirable for twinks I thought I had the bits guessing not yeah I've even got you know uh, pistols and everything it's still not enough to get those damned things on which is annoying because I'd much rather just lose one ring than a piece of armour as well Gota <laughs> I thought I had a big bag of fun a big bag of win yeah for the protective goggles um, make a bit of space it would be these two but yeah you can see there but you need 1250 in comp lit which I don't got so can't do it and I can't get there without swapping out a bunch of implants and stuff like that so yeah okay only a few seconds on there let's have a look the wrangle I don't really need but thank you um yeah it's more Mind you, if I can self-cast that, where's... Do I not have... Where's my nano skills at? Enough to be buffing that, I hope. As long as I can rebuff that, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. Um, I also want... Offensive steamroller, don't I? 
I think the info's nearly buffed. I always like to run with a ton more buffs. Now, I'll, I'll do them. I'll just I'll bump log and do them that way. Uh, we'll get cut red tape, or improved cut red tape, rather. Right, don't need that ring on, so I can go back to being an XP item. And bumpity bump. Log in. And fatty balls. There we go. Of one of them have neuronal stimulator as well. And then I'll get a second client going again, and this time, bump log. This dojo wants to take forever. doesn't it always when you want the doja it never never drops Delica sup Carl didn't make it yesterday oh it's a shame it was a, uh, it was a very cool stream and uh, really nice uh, alien raid and such okay so now I just want composite in no, I don't. I want the other thing. Yeah, I know what I want to do. I want the init buff for the speeds. Always seems to be the way, doesn't it? Just when you think in... Um, No point giving myself that, because it'll just poof the second I enter Shadowlands. Ends loot sloob dock. <laughs> Is it? Or just like a 150 dock twink. Alright, hang on then. That's your dock there, is it? Did you get one? I got one of those as well. I'll just buff you with these. Oh yeah, you, you'll have the nano in it running. And they, soldiers only get pistol mastery. You need to get the bigger one from an engineer. Yeah, Space Quest came back to um, Rubicar. Yeah, I was running around with it as well. It was quite funny. When you pick it up, it does this. <laughs> so I was running around with it. He came back and did um, another shot of aliens for old Athen. It's kind of cool. No, no, I'm I'm not looking for it. I was saying that Enzel Eric's dock would need need one, would need it rather. Um, okay, and just MP now. He said queuing up an MP for the job. Okay, and bump myself off. There we go. And mysticals. It's time to shine. Deli car. So I got a stupid question. Um, what's the old saying? There's no such thing. Only a stupid answer. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> I 
Akaveli, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Give you that as well. Okay. Back in the day was the neutral net, but those aren't active anymore. Okay. Well, there you go. There is, but way less used than Darknet or the LF. Yeah, looking for group. Shift F built into the game looking for group so you can put your own description of what it is you're trying to do or team for etc makes a big difference you meet a lot of you can meet a lot of new people that way as soon as they introduced that it was like well you can go like there's a guy in let's have a look he's in a wreck and description is abandon hope or whatever. Someone else in the wreck, but they want to do Sector 7, Adonis Catacombs, Pen, Zan Quest, etc. You know, so because you can have whatever in the description and you can see them anywhere in the game as long as they're in XP range. Um, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It works rather well. And then you've kind of got, like, Darknet on top of that. Right, I think I know where I'm going. Which is, run back to Penumbra. <laughs> Yovel. Yovali. thought it said Yavel. That's an old, old friend of mine. From a forgotten age... I should have resaved in pen, but I don't want to lose the um, the save in Inferno because everybody helped me do it. <laughs> uh, what can you do? Right, so we're gonna blast back to Penumbra. We. Tried to get my enforcer to Penumbra, but he's too low to skip the challenge. Yeah, it's 160 for a free pass, I think. Yeah, 160. As soon as you hit 160, you just talk to Ergo and go. Gives you the goggles, gives you the ring. Yeah, 160 it is, yeah. Confirmed. Uh tea. There's nothing quite like it. No, it's 160 for Inferno as well. But you do need an ice golem tooth in order to do it. Oh, 170 for new Inferno missions. Okay. I knew there was some sort of reduction on it. Old Inferno missions, it doesn't matter. You, the roller is the deciding factor. As long as you're in um, team XP range and in team when they roll it, you get your reward. And also, I much prefer um, old Inferno missions to new ones. Just personal preference. But I kind of like that the scenery is changing. <laughs> You're not kind of like permanently looking at the same thing for an hour, you know. Zaki2211, good evening. I see Santa is streaming again. He is. Have you been naughty or nice? We need to know. Naughty as always, I promise. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> it would appear I'm on the naughty list. 
no more boots. No, 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 no. You you still need Inferno boots. Um, if you have the Golem Tooth, um, Ergo will give you uh, the ring by upgrading the previous ring. So you give him the Ice Golem Tooth and the ring you got and used to enter Penumbra and he turns it into the Saquin ring or whatever for your uh, class group. So you need the Ice Golem Tooth and then the boots are actually a quest item but also tradable as well. My fixer is 204 and I appear not to have boots equipped and didn't take damage. You will take damage in Inferno if you don't have either A, the boots, or B, a ring that boots have been converted into. You may outheal the damage, but you are taking it. You can't avoid it. I mean, if you're in Inferno Garden, there is no dot. It's as soon as you go out into Inferno proper that you get the dot. Yeah, because you get the boots and then you combine them with another item and it and it becomes a ring, which is a lot easier to for most people to swap than you know if you if you've got have to reperk to put a pair of alien boots on, it's a pain in the ass having to swap them out all the time because you're losing ACs plus a bunch of stats and stuff. Uh, so the rings, being able to convert them to rings, etc., is uh, is pretty cool. Sector 42 soonish. Yeah, it is. Where are we on? 20 minutes or so. Okay, well, I think what I'll do then is we'll park this too nearish and then log back to the keeper who I left outside Sector 42 anyway. Dun dun diddling. It's that little bit of music always makes me think of um, well, the original um, Temple of the... No, what was it called? Indiana Jones, the first one. And the and the Holy Grail. <laughs> Whatever the hell, I can't remember. What was the first one called? Raiders of the Lost Ark, that was it. Yeah. You know when the the statue appears, you know, and it comes, and you can now see the statue, and then a little musical motif over the top of it. Yeah, lava protection ring. So that is made by a pair of boots and another item, which I think I've got with me. One of the items from the alien playfields. I think it's that. Might be that. I don't know. I need that for the quest, don't I? Okay. Right, so from here we've got to go and find I'm killing lots of mobs. Not sure why. Don't think those unless he's doing the quest. Goggles part one. Founding Glacier explained he had borrowed a pair of glasses from a friend. So the dude we want's just a little further along here. Then we've got to try and take out a bunch of other mobs. Your crat's got the hold hell at bay ring, yeah. Well, all three combine into one ring in the end. Which is massively convenient. Right, show him the goggles. And then he wants the two filters, doesn't he? Yeah, most of my kind of finished off tunes have actually got um, the fully fleshed out ring. Yeah, I want the Vortex Voids. Preferably one at a time as well. Don't want to be getting silly here, do we? Hmm. 
the best way to level is doing quests. No, no, no. It's a way. I don't know if there is a best way. I like doing the quests. I like the rewards from the quests, but it's not necessarily the best. Certain levels, maybe. With all the XP bonuses and stuff running. Like, the Sheol quests are really good if you're trying to finish off the, the higher tier uh, research levels. Or you can use them at a lower level and just to get, you know, burn through of 20 levels or so. But they do take a long time. Someone's probably figured out, um, you know, X XP over time based on how long it takes to actually do some of these quests. And the mob has disappeared inside a tree. Fabulous. Probably dropped the thing I want as well. Or it's dropped. Can I, I'm not getting any. Maybe run away and come back again. Sometimes fixes that. Okay, that should be far enough. Now I've got to remember which tree it was near. I'm used to finding heck teams in Elay back in the day. It still goes on. You better not be looting the one I just killed. He's not. No, well, okay. New layers. Yeah, the only new bit of kit on this tune now, I think, is the um, infused deck recoder. I think that's the only new thing I put on. Yeah, the Yellow's quests in Eli are a lot of XP. Seemed harder to kill than the other one. Okay, there's one thing. Can you control your mob? I'm not even hitting that thing. It still hates me. What pet is he using? I should be able to keep that aggroed. Try not to interfere with his... Uh, <laughs> with it, what he's doing, but mob really likes me. Uh, get rid of the pred first, I think. Oh, I've probably lost. Yeah, I think I had course eighteen screen before. Never mind. We got that now instead. Not as good, but it'll do. Did it just kept aggroing me, and I was like, God damn, mate. I see Pred, no doja for you. Yeah, the, the Elysium quests, if you look on um, uh, Anarchy Online Universe, you will see um, the quest for Elysium, and it lists a, a few of the Yottos that hand out uh, a huge bunch of quests. We did them uh, in the week. I think we did them on Monday. Wednesday we did... No. I can't remember what we did. Wednesday we did them. And then I was in, Do in Adonis by Friday, I think. <laughs> Yay, I've got my two bits. Yeah, Monday we did those, Wednesday we did Sheol, Friday we did Adonis. So you can see what I mean by, there's a, that is not the only thing that I've been getting XP from because I've been doing dailies, the wreck, you know, and, and everything else. And it, it really does add up. So when you've got a, like permanently running around with a 50% XP can plus a full set of XP armor, it, it's, um, it's kind of nuts.
all of this stuff is very interesting the first time round. Not so much when you've already read it a few times. No one who will show you the way. Have we got time? Uh, ten to... So literally about ten minutes before Sector 42 is due to start. Yutto, Elysium, the Divide Agencies, the Wreck. No, 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 There's the Yuttos have quests that you do once, which give a ton of XP per stage of the quests they have. Oh no! My little MP friend! <laughs> oh, a valiant effort, sir. He, he was struggling a little bit, I think. Okay, I've got mobs after me. Come on. Oh, God. Don't die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, fair. F <laughs> oh, well. That's probably broke the quest. Yeah, I should have run past him and um, got taken care of all the ads first. <laughs> the Ermite successfully made it onto the naughty list. Oh, good God, yeah. They're permanently on the naughty list. They're never off of it. <laughs> Anyway, that's as good a point as any to switch over to the old client and do good old Sector 42. With my entire inventory full of all manner of crap. Right. Old client. Why are you open? Because it's very busy and very laggy, and I, if you crash in Sector 42, game over. I would prefer not to crash there. Okay, I just logged into... <laughs> I just logged into the 2019 server. I'm a doofus. Uh, Dave, three of five... Obviously, I did that because I logged into the 2019 server last night while Space Quest went there. Just looked and went, where the hell are all my tunes? Uh, Brute Curl. There we go. Yeah, it's... Um, the new engine will run in, in Sector 42, but it doesn't run particularly well. So I prefer something that's as stable as it can be, etc., etc., Okay. Red join. You have joined the raid. And LFT. There we go. I should have come a bit earlier, really, but it doesn't make a very entertaining stream. Watching me being sat here. <laughs> Did I finish buffing? I think mostly... Yes, I did. Okay, good. I love the music in Shadowlands. It is good, yeah. You know, at least then, that way when you die in a fight, um, <laughs> at least it sounded good. Oh, some people have renamed their pets with green. Uh, 
I should talk to Lirred. Go LFT Sugar Rush. Okay. Hi all and <laughs> buy all. <laughs> Tried to play the previous function game. Can't remember the name. Very old but fun. Previous function game. Oh, Funcom game. Right. You got auto corrected, did you? I'm joining Team Sugar Rush. Miss Savix still here? She's probably gone to bed. Yeah, Savix slipped away and I missed it again. Which one was it? Was it the, the, was the Secret World? Is that still running? I don't know. The Secret World, the, they did another Conan game. There was a Lego thing. Um, I did try the first Conan game they had for a few hours. Point and click. Hang on, let me get the game. Secret World might still be running. <coughs> it looked very next gen at the time they released it. I don't know if it actually was, but yeah. The Longest Journey. Yeah, that was a fun com game, wasn't it? The Longest Journey. My God. When did that come out? Is that a point-and-click adventure? Have a look. The Longest Journey. Um... Developed by Norwegian studio Funcom for Microsoft Windows and released in 1999. Sales in excess of half a million by 2004, acclaimed by critics. Now recognise the font and the, you know, the image you would have seen on the box. I think I got it for free on GOG, but I've never installed it. And I kind of, I kind of got it for... <clears throat> I got it from Mrs. Callus too, but I don't think she's ever played it either. Yeah, 1999 is its official um, release date, but I guess that's correct, I don't know. No callers as yet. I think there's a, se a sequel? Probably, yeah. Apparently I'm a picnic table. <laughs> Thanks. There is dream. Okay. I'm guessing we are east then.
Sector 42 raid, yes. Yes, it is. <clears throat> list of callers, thus that's for north. We're east then, aren't we? What did they say? Sugar will do east. Okay, we need east callers then. When do you start? In one minute, officially. September! Welcome to the stream, nice to see you. How's the devil are you? Um, yeah. I think I joined the raid. I'm almost positive I did when I think. You are already in the raid. Then do you... yeah. So basically once once everybody's organised and ready to go, that's that's sort of when it starts. You can see there's a lot of, lot of cats to be herded here. So... <laughs> you just, you just gotta you bear with it while, you know, Raid leaders selflessly organise everybody. You have to join um, Hodor Raid as well. Have you got access to Sector 42? As in, have you collected all the um, cores from each of the playfield and then handed them in yeah if you've got the decrypted Kia Orge or whatever I have no idea how you're meant to pronounce that uh, data core the alien data core you need that you need to be registered with Hodornet as well Alliance is often a bit like yeah Okay, you may miss it because it's, um, we're about to get going, I think. Once they go, they go. It's not my raid, I'm, you know, I'm just joined it and going along with it, you know. Alliance is always late. <laughs> no, 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 we be mean saying things about them. Ugh too long in headphones and now I'm now I've got itchy ear Ugh. it's weird there's nothing in there there's nothing with the headphones that would make your ears itch but they still do I think it's just because these are closed back instead of open back but you get you can get much more focused on sound with uh, closed back plus it, it you can't hear anything distracting while you're listening Not in raid to four players, so you, you're going to have to tell Hodor raid join, and then go LFT, and hopefully you'll get picked up for one of the raid groups. But you've left it rather late, is the only thing I can say. You may you may miss it even if you get here. Yeah, have you got LFT? I would probably put LFT, what was the one I had to put in? Omni aren't allowed, yeah, it's neutral and clan. Raid for all can be anyone, but Hodor raid is neutral and clan. We did this with Hodor raid, Alliance and raid for all a um, couple of weeks back. Right, we're going in. So I talked to him. Make sure you do all this. I would like authorization to enter Sector 42. Here you are. You give him the 
the core, you have to complete the conversation. You can't do it half arsed Otherwise, it doesn't work. I accept the mission. Please give me access. And you must click goodbye. <laughs> of all the times it matters, it matters for this one, and it doesn't matter any other time with any other NPC you talk to, but on here it does. As we've all discovered in the past at some point by not doing it properly. I ran off halfway through the conversation to help someone, thinking, oh, I can just restart the conversation. It was like, nope, you cannot. <laughs> so it wasn't very fun. He still has callers, do we? Hell, ho, door, raid. Callers. East. That's us. I'm in the East team. There we go. And we'll pop that there. Yeah, I don't make the rules, you know. And as far as... Um, Mr. Squeaky Lantern. No. Can you wear it in... No. <laughs> I was hoping you could wear it in social. I'd have worn it. Yeah, one night we were just doing stuff on a Sunday and someone said, come and do Hodor Raid. And I said, I've never done Hodor Raid. And they said, oh, well, I've invited you. Come to Hodor Raid now. And we went and did Hodor Raid on one night in the week and then just carried on doing them. So I didn't even really know what the, um, you know, what the rules were or anything. Proc reminder, thank you very much. Yes, we will go for procs. Yes, we will. What are the names of the popular market channels? Uh, Darknet. About the most popular, I think. Yeah, Darknet will be PvP, events, want to buy, want to sell, loot rights, you know, for no drops, with a timer on the corpse, that kind of thing. Yeah, just, uh, if you're over level 150, just type forward slash tell Darknet register, and then have a quick read of the rules to make sure you don't get yourself booted off. Um, and enjoy. Right, see there, PVM, Inf, Unread, looking for two more, please send tell, and you get the... Like that, and it'll open the tell window for you automatically. Apparently we're killing the patrollers. Well, you may as well when you've got this many people. We're off, boys, we're off. Try not to stand on a mine. And get snared the whole way. That's always fun. Trying to attack things. <laughs> not doing particularly well. You never do on melee. You're like, oh, tab. You know, use the macro and then, like, nothing. Try 
trying to click on the bloody cocoon down here and I can't get to it. I think it's open. Okay. Snared. I hate being snared. Hard for an NT to use the macro, yeah. Well, you never really ever hit on um, Q, do you, sir? If you're a caller, start your fights with Q. It's less buggy that way. We should be heading this way. We've got, no we got no target. There we go. That's better. Yeah, and you can't get rid of the snare with anything. It's a pain in the bum. None of the first aid things work. Nothing else works either. traditionally, well, paid NTs anyway, don't use Q. Macro helps a lot, to be honest. Yes, we're getting there, come on. Kill all the things. You can tell the difference between when you come with like um, six, uh, <laughs> with four teams versus two and a bit. Much harder going getting through all the mobs to get where you're going. things very very slowly but until you threw them you're not through them big meanie welcome to the stream nice to see you how the devil are you and we're doing sector 42 at the moment we've had a bit of a variety evening this evening bit of lag We did a little bit of Penumbra, we did getting to um, Inferno on the little lamp, and then we did a beast raid, and now we're doing Sector 42. Hit all the things, they're all on floor tank. <laughs> Has many, many mobs. Well, we're up to the fence, that's a good sign. Making progress. I'm not sure who else is in team with, they keep dropping health. I think they're on an agent, so probably spike damage spiking a load of aggro onto themselves which does happen I'm just stomping on the green bugs as you do. I must not have been here before, I have no ACDC. Could be that um, you have been here before, <laughs> just not been lucky enough to get one. 
If this could be completed by a team of six people, it would be. Mm, but it ain't. Clicky, don't forget the clicky. Don't be a statistical Darwin fence victim. And there's the all-important buff. Yeah, put your pets on, wait, and then... <laughs> and then warp them, otherwise you will lose your pet. Pets do not get the little buff that lets you through the gate alive. I don't get it. I stand right next to a mine. Don't get snared. Be nowhere near a mine. Do get snared. Bloody weird. What can you do? He has many, many mobs. Yes, he does. everyone in the chat doing? Chat is being awfully quiet. Makes me nervous. What are they plotting? <laughs> or you're just enjoying the stream quietly while you chill. I suspect some other people have put it on just to doze off to... Oh, we're playing. Okay. Listen in to you while I work. Still trying to get me a dojo. Where at? Killed half of Inferno. Good get yeah, I've had days like that. I feel like it ain't ever gonna drop. It's never gonna drop. Usually what I do is go back to the garden, log off, log back in, and then go back outside, and it almost always I get a drop within ten kills. Pretty weird. But yeah, I've had days where I've been killing the same mobs over and over for like three hours and nothing. Just, you're thinking, why the hell am I even bothering at this point? <laughs> you know, I've probably had the same amount of XP the doja would have given by now. Just from killing all these mobs here, you know. It's kind of nuts. Because I've been live for, what, nearly three hours now, so... You, you started on that pretty early on. So it's been a while. Heal towers, but if you're melee, don't go charging in there. Go, go, Inspector Gadget ranged. No wonder I couldn't see my mouse, it was over on the other monitor. <laughs> Send pets on tower also, I think we have some new people here. Someone, someone's pets are not getting involved for some reason. Maybe his pets are bugged. Oh no, there you go. Got him going. Yeah, because it's kind of a waste to not have the chicken hitting that thing. 
because the chicken hits hard. Yes, it does. If, you have, if you've ever had one land on you in PvP, you'll know that. <laughs> it's like, God damn! Next mob I killed, I got a doja. Just had to complain. Yeah, you, the power of the complaining vibe. You, you send out the complain. And the game's like, yeah, but nah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, your, your buff to get in here is that one there. Unicorn authorization. And then you get this one, which is on a timer. Uh, I think it's an hour and 30 minutes total. And if you haven't exited from here you're usually you're dead um you've been the killed pets are always allowed on it until it gets down to like four bubbles then i'd probably pull them but this is like kill it the only reason melee don't go in is because it pulls ads whereas pets don't so it's just avoiding a, a ton of extra work. So you kill the tower, uh, kill the bosses, or pre-kill the next tower, depending which... There you go. Here comes the boss. So same, same as you would get in one of the sectors. So this is the same as Sector 35 here, in terms of the, the bosses themselves. Jan... Uvera is now following. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, pets have always been, yeah, pets on towers. Because, you know, like in a lot of instances where you you don't want the players getting aggro, you send in the pets. That kind of deal. Because, uh, that's the one when you're doing the DB quest and you've got the turret on the top of the rock at the bottom south of um, Broken Shores. Everyone just stays down there and send in the pets and the ads don't bother the pets or the players. If the ads get involved then yeah it's <laughs> it ends up being a, a big mess usually. Support is down. Field Marshal. Ooh, special ops helmet. We've got one of those. They're quite nice. Intelligence, sense, and psychic, but also critical, melee in it, bunch of ACs. Pretty good helm. Yeah, you've just got to be careful with pets when you're on the second tower spawn. You've got to take it down to the two bubbles. Sometimes pets can get a bit stuck on them and kill the tower before the other two sides are ready. And then it's kind of a problem. East is one of the easier ones, though, being honest. Oops, signal hacker. Yeah, don't aggro it. Cause big problem if you kill it. Yeah, so with the second spawn of the tower, you've got to be careful you don't kill it, bef you know, before everybody else is ready, otherwise, you're not going to spawn your Sector 42 general. You're just going to cause problems for everybody else. One time we did a raid here, and one side had a brand new enforcer who wasn't... Well, they had communication issues with him, they said. Uh, he'd never been before, and or something, and kept attacking the tower, even when it was at two bubbles, and they're going, leave two bubbles, and it just did not seem 
to get the message across so we kept killing it and we ended up we were in here so long trying to get it all to work um, the timer ran out and what happens then is the you get a message that the aliens have uh, launched a, <laughs> an orbital strike and um, splat dead Sometimes, chicken just wants to exercise. Oh, we're killing it. Okay. We kill you. We kill you with enormous, big, sharp things. Or are you just pulling it over there for it to get snared? Not sure. I think they're killing it looking at its HP. Shouldn't be killing this, but it's done now. Well, the thing is, it'll another one will spawn. It's better to have one you know, um, etc. Snared over there. We got no crap. I don't think we do. Or maybe we do. I don't know. Shackle. Yep. Very, very useful buff is the shackle. Solves most of your problems having a shackle. <laughs> it solves an awful lot of problems. And a raffle. Okay, second tower is up. A few little lads have arrived. Get rid. Okay. Yeah, I'll put the macro on the same hotkey as um, a few other things, so whenever I'm hitting that key, I'm getting the caller's target, which is the tower. If you were wondering. I think the only reason they, they put the various rules in is just to make the raid actually work. So, yeah. Pre-killing means they take it down to sort of the last two bars, which is sort of roughly about there. And then it stays there until everybody else in the other sectors. So we're, when we've got it to ours, then we also want the same thing for north and west. And when they're all ready to go, there's a countdown. And then we all uh, should, fingers crossed, get a general to kill. Why did all towers go? Oh, because I changed clients, that's why. Quick look over it. 26... 22.6... Figured I'd pop back in. <laughs> are, are your are your is are your sports as w winning? Sorry, I'm I'm not a sporting thing.
Oh, it's gone back into here. Oh. Where is it? Oh, there you go. Care not. Omnivent? No, that's just one person placing for the convenience of someone else. That's all that is. That's as old as the hills. Base swapping. I can remember once someone was unaware of it. And... Um, <coughs> <laughs> it was on the um, Org Leaders channel, and <laughs> the person doing it, they were going, it was somebody who was clearly like quite new to the game, he'd never heard of that happening. Um, everyone else in Leader channel, because uh, when you become a president or leader of an org, there's a, there's a, a channel you get, and I was president of Storm like three times over, I think, and... I was in that channel and um, it was going on. The guy was going, we must band together. And, you know, and I, I, at first I thought, oh, they're just role playing. Cool. But they weren't. They were still like, <laughs> they were like convinced there was a rogue org. And uh, the, the one that had done the attack in the president from there was going, yes, let your hate flow through you. <laughs> just playing up on it so hard. It was funny. Going full, you know, um, evil emperor, you know. Oh, that was good. I'm ready over here with my picnic table. Gonna go counterclockwise around the area. Please don't back up into the pets. Yep. Sounds like a plan. So if you did die now, you would not be able to get back in here. Because uh, there's like a raid block on it. And hopefully everybody's got theirs down on time. And the big ugly should be coming out of that gap in the cliff over there. And then we wail on it. <laughs> While trying to avoid the very scary and not very nice seekers. But I've gotten good at avoiding seekers. I've just remarkably developed, a, you know, the ability to avoid them. No names. Space Quest spawning hundreds on me. Um, yes. And if the spawn fails, you've got to take the tower down and do it again. All three sides do. <coughs> Excuse me. It's really not an easy pull either. No sign yet. There's something over there. Oh no, that's the pat. That's the patrol droid. <laughs> Space Quest is going to log and spawn triple the amount of Sector 42 Seekers. He normally does. Um. Alright, oh, Flossin has been awarded the highest honorary rank for outstanding dedication to the defence of Rubica. Congrats, I got AI 30 in here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I can't see the damn bugger, but he's in there somewhere. There he is. Here's Mr. Ugly. Kill him, avoid ads, i.e., seekers. And don't run into the pats either. That would be really bad. He's got a massive hitbox, so even melee can hit him at 
quite a safe distance. Yeah, you don't want to be anywhere near those Seekers. You know well what they can do. Oh no! <laughs> How can you see others' points? You can't. Until they start bidding and then you know they have a lot. You can only check your own. Yeah, little green balls of death. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. God, that's hard to read. Hurt Triol has reached enlightenment. Congrats on 220. I'm standing next to the tank. I hate that system, but it's very common. Yeah, it's just how most raid bots tend to work. Flawless strategy, follow the dock. <laughs> you, you'd think. Not always. Okay, that's a lot of them. That is a lot, but the snare hit them straight away. Good job. Good job on that, that AoE snare. I mean, your pets may die while they're stood there. Okay, I can see some Seekers moving. They're moving. Sacrifice the pets. So literally send your pets at a Seeker. Because one Seeker will do damage to another, I think. Or cause it to detonate, at least. We need to remove enough of them so people can actually get to the corpse and loot. Just making sure I'm well out of the way here. I've got 10,000 points I'm going to bid when it's our shout. I don't know who goes first. That can get confusing as well. They're doing raffles and stuff. So that's north. We're not north. We are east. But they do... The ACDC goes for pretty expensive. <clears throat> Clearly this chicken would withstand the wrath of StarQuest? <laughs> you mean Space Quest? <laughs> yeah, and don't bid on the wrong raid group. Because sometimes you'll win. <laughs> he says, putting his hand up. <laughs> Make sure you're bidding on your own raid group. Uh well, that one in North just went for 10,000 points. So I expect something over here will probably go for the same when we're ready to roll. There's still some Seekers, but usually we just do it so there's enough of a thing. Like, there's enough gone that you can get to the corpse without dying, you know. East only. Okay. Bid 10110. Oh my god, I outbid in seconds. Someone's got more, one more point than, or more points <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yeah, it went straight to 10,000. Jesus. Yeah, it was like, I put in my max bid and it just went 
6k and then mine didn't even show up <laughs> it's just the next person with what you know who's bid higher than me wow nuts oh well i'm in the ballpark to get one kitter uh, yeah some up flossing bid command only works in tells yeah it do there you go, kit around one for 10,101 points. But that'll be like probably they're cleared out now. Unless, you know, they've got 20,000 points or something. It seems like with all the alts, the community needs to do Sector 42 like daily. Well. Possibly, but not everybody wants to do it daily. And the other side of the coin, of course, is that um, you've got to organise a lot of people to do it. You need at least, the absolute minimum would be one team per side. Um, and that would be really difficult and hard to achieve. Because the, the likelihood is you would lose a couple of people on the way just getting to the actual fight and it's easy for it to go wrong believe me it only takes one bad pull or whatever and the coordination's got to be there like say that all the tiles have got to be uh, taken down simultaneously or within a few seconds of each other so there we go thank you for the readage and cat wrangling. I think I'll say that in general as well. <laughs> cat wrangling, wrangling, referring to getting everybody to bloody um, to work. GSP party time, is it? Is there a GSP party somewhere? Because I can't tune into the music. Uh, because yeah, copyright, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. We'll soon find out how, how laggy is ICC if they're doing it there. We go have a look. Oh, there's, there's things occurring. Here we go. It's not the same without the music, unfortunately, if I tune in, uh, then, you know, because there's like a DJ and he's chatting and whatnot and playing music, uh, and it is quite a lot of fun if you can hear it, but obviously if I put it on so I can hear it, you guys will hear it, it'll go over the stream and I'll probably get like an instant takedown notice or something. So unfortunately, I cannot... Which is a shame, but there it is. Right, okay then. I'm going to leave that there. Is there any other person streaming the Anarchy Online? Let's go have a look. Yes, Twitch, I know that I am. <laughs> Uh, Antichrist Cinema. That's not Anarchy Online. Nobody else? Anarchy Arcade, whatever that is. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, apparently nobody else is streaming Anarchy Online. Is um, GSP, have they got a link? Are they streaming the stream or? Nope. Apparently, are they streaming it? Has anyone got a link to their stream? We'll go raid their stream. But at the moment, I can't see them on Twitch. They're not tagging it as um, Anarchy Online, anyway. Uh, GSP. Nope, nothing. Uh, okay, well, in that case, 
Let's have a look. Anybody I know streaming? Probably it was Mr. Gopher live. Mr. Gopher is live. We'll go. We'll go raid good old Gopher. I like Gopher. I think he's, I think I love his videos. All right, we're going to go raid Gopher. <laughs> All aboard! I don't know what game he's playing. I think... Oh, it's Divinity Original Sin 2. We all we all going? Only 30 of us? Not the whole 40? It doesn't seem to be anything else I can go raid, really, so... Okay. Okay, we'll go do that, and I will just say thank you all. I will see you on Monday, and... Bye for now.